Welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we learned all about monsters. Shout out to Justin Jones, who says, This game has gone from quirky to very dark, and now into just silly and bizarre. I wonder how the late game functions. If a scenario is more complex, with less clues, perhaps more elements you have to wrestle with. Something else? Perhaps the game gives you a fuck-ton of elements to work with, and then simply tells you what scene you need to have. I like these ideas. Only one way to find out, I guess. And shout out to Yornick, who says, The witch, more like Weach, am I right, goes ew instead of kissing Tiny. I think the folk saying applies here. The one that says, You ain't pretty enough to be this much of a bitch. <laughs> I do like that a lot. Let's see. Chapter 13. Rama. It's a tree with... Well, it has a uh, very, very small number of leaves. I thought the branches were bare at first. But uh, it's also got... Every branch leads to pairs of people with hearts floating over their heads. Oh, it's like it's a family tree, but backwards. With the two at the bottom and the many at the top. Narcissus, Oedipus, Hamlet, Salome, and Godot. Or Godot? Narcissus was a Greek legend about a man who was genuinely in love with himself. Uh, that's where the term narcissism comes from. Uh, he was... What was it? He was uh, ultimately cursed by one or the other of the Greek gods into becoming the Narcissus Lily, a flower that grows at the edges of rivers and hangs over it as if it's admiring its own reflection. Uh, Oedipus, famously and completely by accident, murdered his own father and married his own mother and fathered a daughter with her. Uh, Hamlet, of course, is Shakespeare. I'm not actually that familiar with Hamlet. We read uh, Merchant of Venice and uh, King Lear and uh, Romeo and Juliet when I was in high school. I don't actually know Salome, and there's a bunch of different names of Godot or Godot, but uh, let's start with Narcissus. The mirror praises everyone. Mirror, Cliff, Peachy, Hady, and Froggy. These are more dwarves, but... Uh, mirror. Oh, the mirror likes Peachy. I like the bow and Peachy there. <laughs> uh, I also like these huge epaulets he's wearing. <coughs> Peachy's the only one it likes. Okay, uh, Haiti sees that uh, Peachy is uh, more beloved and pushes Peachy up a cliff. <coughs> oh no. Oh wait, no, it has to be the mayor praises everyone, right? Can the frog push Haiti off a cliff? No. Oh, but the ghost of Peachy can. Yeah, so here's panels of the mirror saying that a different person is the most fair in all the land. So the mirror praises everyone. I just wasn't sure if it needed to be like this, where uh, you know the person is the one actually standing there. And here's Haiti and Peachy booing at each other for the rest of eternity. Oedipus. Haiti murders father and marries mother. Haiti, Tiny, Peachy, family, cliff, wedding. I am your parent. It's a, it's a thought bubble. Oh, okay, whoever I put on the left becomes the parent of the other person? That's ludicrous! Okay, uh... I guess Haiti on the right. Oh! Peachy's a woman. I couldn't tell, because she has a beard going down to the floor. Although I guess it's not entirely unheard of in fictional dwarves, is it? I seem to remember a joke in Lord of the Rings that, uh... 
female dwarves are around, they just look and sound exactly like uh, male dwarves to people who aren't members of that species. I definitely have seen uh, multiple settings where uh, female dwarves have beards like the men. I guess that does make more sense. Yeah, it's like, hang on. <laughs> yes, my apologies, Peachy. I, I meant no disrespect. Uh, okay, murder his father. Presumably he'll just do it because he's a hater. No. Wait. Do I have to get them married? Not as, hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, that's funny. I am your mother changes to a scandalized outburst if they're already married. Yeah, they won't get married because they're... Hmm. Oh, that's right! Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, of course, he didn't know until, like, his daughter... Their daughter was, like, 20. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done it in the first fucking place. Um... So what I'm actually looking for is Cliff. No. Uh, Cliff, yes. Uh, Hades murders Tiny. No, he doesn't. Why would he... W I don't understand why he wants to murder Tiny. Does he just do it if it's his father? No. Oh! Oh, God! I've got it! Tiny and Peachy get married. Now they're in love. Peachy refuses to marry Haiti because she's married to Tiny. Haiti murders Tiny. And then... Oh, no. Marries Peachy. And in the last two panels... Uh... The ghost of... Oh, that's not right. Oh, I guess I do have to set that up before then. Fuck. Okay, yeah, the ghost can't say anything, so it's scaring him. I guess he has to say it while he's alive. And he already hates the guy because he won't she won't marry him. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so okay. Tiny and Peachy get married. Haiti and Peachy can't get married because she loves Tiny. Tiny tells Haiti that he's his father. Haiti murders Tiny anyway. Tiny, I mean, Haiti and Peachy get married because she's single again. <laughs> and the last panel, he, she suddenly realizes that she's his mother. And there you go. The plot of Oedipus Rex essentially recreated through dwarves. As I recall, the uh, in the story, the king was traveling uh, incognito, so he didn't have his crown or his royal entourage or anything. And basically, just he ran into uh, Oedipus on the road and was a shithead to him. Hey, get out of my way, you unimportant plebeian. To which he said, hey, how about I just fucking stab you instead? I don't even think he knew that guy was the husband his uh, new wife had lost, because, you know, it took him like a month to get to the kingdom after that, and all he knew was that the queen was mourning the king. He didn't know what, she, what, he, what the man looked like or anything. Because he didn't have photos back then. Hamlet! He murders brother to avenge his father. Sorry. I'm sorry, what? Tiny murders brother to avenge his father. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Family, Fight, Cliff, and Seance, and Tiny, Greeny, and Haiti. I'm curious. But, they're, but none of, neither of them are his brother. I 
It's always parent. Oh! Oh! Shit! I'm not thinking straight enough. Uh, if I, if the, it's not that I have to choose one to like, I am your brother. I have to make both of them the sons of that guy. That's all. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's make Greeny the, uh, the parent of Tiny. I am your father. He seems pleasantly surprised to learn this. Actually, it's not for the puzzle. I'm just really curious. Uh... Okay, I am your father, green to uh, tiny. Tiny to Haiti, I am your father. So what if I put do th this? Does he say I am your grandfather? It does! Wow, it actually remembers that. Okay, yes. Greeny and uh, it's the father of Tiny. Uh, Greeny is also the father of Haiti. So if I did that correctly... Uh, wrong one. What? Oh, oh. I am your brother. Yes, 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 sorry. I, I, I used the wrong one. I mean, the, the, I mean, if you look at them, the main difference is the shape of their nose and what hat they're wearing. Sometimes I'm just glancing. Okay, uh, fight. Let me guess. Haiti and Greeny get into a fight. Greeny, chilling on the edge of a cliff for no sensible reason, is murdered by his son, Haiti. Seance. Uh, Tiny is at the seance looking ominous, and the ghost of Greeny informs him... Th oh yeah, he can talk if it's a seance, of course! Informs him that Haiti was the murderer. So, Tiny murders Haiti. Tiny murders his brother to avenge his father. Salome with an optional objective. Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Okay, the only woman here is Peachy. Unless I misunderstood uh, Bluey again. I, w I just want to note for, you know, Justin Jones and other visually impaired people, Peachy's beard is exactly the same size as all of the other dwarves. <laughs> it's just uh, the bow on top of her head as opposed to a hat. It's not actually a scene. Family Affair Cliff Seance. That's a family. Uh... Oh, no. Wait, what if I do, uh, and then I do, yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Okay, Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Let's work this out. First, I need to make, uh, first I need to give Haiti a daughter. Yes, okay. Peachy is Hades' daughter. Uh... Fair. Haiti and Tiny are secretly in a relationship. But... No, no, no. Tiny and uh, Peachy are secretly in a relationship. But, uh... Haiti and Tiny are also secretly in a relationship. And Peachy knows about it. I don't know why I need seance. Oh! Well, I feel like this will work. Does Peachy murder Haiti? No, she's just bummed. Okay, now I see why I need Seance, because Peachy doesn't murder Tiny, either. Fuck! This is more complicated than I thought. No, I see, I see. I 
need her to push him off the cliff. Okay, so Peachy... Remove that. Oh, she's just happy for them if uh, she's not involved in it. That's kind of funny. Alright, sorry. Uh... Yes, okay. Actually, I'll put Peachy in there. And, uh... Oh, I see, I think. Uh, Haiti and Tiny are in a relationship... Haiti learns that Peachy and Tiny are also in a relationship. Yes, yes, yes. So Haiti pushes uh, Tiny off the cliff. The ghost of Tiny tells uh, Peachy that it was her father. And she pushes her father off the cliff. Haiti. Oh, the optional objective is, but he was just protecting her. Huh. I don't actually know how to do that one. Wait, if Hades in a relationship with, uh... Tiny, it doesn't need to be. Hmm. Okay, he just finds out that Tiny is cheating on. No, I don't fucking know. Uh, she doesn't care if that's the case. Haney is murdered by his daughter, but he was just protecting her. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking that uh, Haiti has to kill her cheating spouse. How do I set this up? Oh, oh, uh... Yes! Okay! There we go. Haiti is Peachy's father. Haiti observes Peachy and Tiny in an affair relationship, and he's happy for them. Uh, Haiti witnesses Greeny and Tiny in a relationship, and is angry because he's cheating on his daughter. Or because Tiny is cheating on Haiti's daughter, I should say. Uh, Haiti pushes Tiny off a cliff because she cheated on him. The ghost of Tiny tells Peachy that uh, Haiti killed him. Peachy kill pushes Tiny off a cliff. So Haiti is murdered by his daughter, but he was just protecting her. Nice. And go dot or go do. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. That's a terrible joke. That okay? That's definitely drawn from a play I have heard of but know nothing about, called Waiting for Godot. And all they've got is wait, Tiny and Haiti. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. And it's just a tree with no leaves. It's a dead tree. Tiny and Haiti. Tiny and Haiti. Tiny and Haiti. Haiti and Tiny. Tiny and Haiti. Tiny and Haiti. Optional objective is both leave and return. So if I just take them both off of this one. And then they come back in the last panel. Tiny and Haiti wait forever. Both leave and return. Wow. Are these in random order, or what? That was chapter, uh, 13. Let's take a look at the next one. Novels. Final chapter. Mad husband, loose end, vindictive wife, and love revolution. And the image seems to be a human skull with a... Pope hat on top? Sitting on a stage in the middle of a spotlight while curtains are parted on either side of it. I mean, it doesn't really look like a Pope hat, but it is a conical hat, and that's the closest thing I can think of. Hmm. Well, before we jump into this final challenge, although 
I did see that one of the updates for this game was like, oh, you know, new content, and it's a picture of the devil. So maybe they added a bunch of bonus levels, and that's what the uh, the devil uh, levels achievement is for. You know, there's some more stuff to do after we get the crown. But I guess we'll find out next time on Let's Play. On Let's Play Storyteller. I actually forgot the name of the game for a second there. How embarrassing. You know, knock on wood that we do find out. Um, yeah, I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Should be good. Take care of yourselves, have a nice day, and, uh, don't trust any of the people we've met in this game. <laughs> Later.